Okay, come on. How long is this bath? What if I just click on her really fast? Hey, you there! Are you going to hang around here gaping like a stuffed squirrel all day and night? If you can't pay for a bath, clear off! He kept going for a while. I heard you've been seeing Hinek, the Tanner's son. So what? Come to preach at me, have you? That I'm a loose woman, a sinner, that I seduce decent men? I just wanted to ask you a few questions. It's not my business how you live your life. I'm glad to hear it. Some folk don't care for the way I make a living. I can imagine. So what about you, then? You look a bit careworn. A bath with a bit of company might do you good. Maybe later, sweetheart. Right now, I have some questions to ask. Ask away, then. I'm surprised saying yes isn't an answer, and like then, and like that's a way of an alternate way of getting answers or something like that, like about being a patron. Also, I just was going to be really amused by the idea of me of her going off to give me a bath, and then that would mean that like this guy's just abandoned in the middle of his appointment. Where can I find Hinek? I haven't seen him in the village for a few days. He must have run off to the woods again. Does he do that often? What's going on out From there? time to time. What the hell does he get up to there? I... I don't know. He goes to the woods from time to time. That smells fishy to me. What do you mean? There's no law against it, is there? With all the footpads, looters, cumans, and God knows what other vermin around, it's not the sort of thing an honest man would do. But Hinek doesn't have anything to do with those people. Oh, really? Then what does he do there? I don't imagine he's gathering mushrooms. Mushrooms, no. More like hares or other game. So Hinek is a poacher? That's no surprise. Well, he was never much of one for an honest trade. Do you know exactly where he goes? Maybe he has some favourite spot he might have told you about? He said he has some hideout in the woods, but he didn't tell me where. When did you last see him? A few days ago. He came to me late in the evening, drunk. And that was unusual? I never saw him drink much. He always came to me sober. So he was acting strangely that evening? He was strange. I had the feeling he was afraid of something. He keeps prattling on and didn't seem to care about... you know what. So I threw him out and I haven't seen him since. Can you remember anything he said that evening? Oh, I'm not sure. He went on about some fellow called Lubosch who died. That he was regretting he ever got into it. But he never said what it was. And that it wasn't worth it for the money. Aye. And then he was talking about the money... That was very odd. What did he say about the money? Just that he had a pile of it hidden behind his house. I see. What did you say to that? What could I say? He was drunk. He kept saying I was a fine girl and other harlots wouldn't go with him even for money. And if I wanted, I could even take half the money and leave. Or he'd go with me and we could get married and such. All just poppycock. Did you go there for a look? No. I've got better things to do. Obviously he made it up. Where would a layabout like him get so much coin? Yes, I understand. Did he tell you exactly where he hid it? He said he buried it at his father's small holding in the western corner. All right. Thank you. Is it true? What? Other whores wouldn't go with him even for money. The other bathhouse girls are honest, so I don't know. The truth is, I felt a bit sorry for him. Folk don't like him, but it's only cause his old man is a grouch and a tanner. I heard they don't like him because he keeps company with villains. True enough. But they didn't like him before that either. Or me. They're close-minded yokels. Both of us are the black sheep of the village. There's nothing more between you? No, nothing. Maybe Hinek thinks differently, but that's how it goes. 
I need to know more about that hideout. I really don't know where it is. I only know when he came back, he usually came to see me. I see. How did you know he'd been to the woods? He always talked about what he caught, and he never came to me at other times. Probably didn't have the money for it. Do you know who he sold it to? He never told me straight up. But who could he sell it to? The innkeeper, I reckon. It makes sense. For sure. Do you know what route he took? At least the general direction, anything that could help me find his hideout. I think he usually went through the woodcutter's camp, because he always brought me freshly chopped firewood, and he had wood chips on his boots. Good. So at least I know where to start. Boop. Back outside. It's not weird. Oops, sorry about that. This isn't weird. You're not weird. This is all not weird. It's fine. So, he's the town black sheep, he's the tanner's son, people don't like his father, but also he does a bunch of naughty, which doesn't help. Uh, he poaches game, which is bad, bad news, he, and he's of course tied to this whole case in the first place, so that's not great news either. And on top of that, he may or may not have some sum of money stashed somewhere, which no one else will even believe him when he says he has that. Well, the innkeeper's right here, so I might as well check in on that. Have you been a naughty, naughty innkeeper? Did you do a naughty? God be with you, good sir. I want to ask about the courier's son, Hinek. And ask someone else. I have nothing to do with Riki. He'd only drive my customers away. Huh. Really? I heard a different story. I heard the two of you do business together. Who are you, anyway? A friend of Hinek's. He's gone missing, and I need to find him. I don't know where he is, but if you find the bastard, tell him he still owes me some goods. I don't give a damn what deals you've been doing together. I won't tell anyone. I just need to know where Riki is. It's urgent. What have our deals got to do with where he disappeared to? <laughs> More than you think. It's likely Riki is hiding out at his poaching lair, and believe me, it wasn't hard to find out who was buying game from him, and it's even easier to go to the castle and tell them. Poaching's a crime, after all. All right, all right. But well, give me your word of honor, you won't tell anyone about our deal. You have my word. Fine. So, what do you want to know? I hear Hinek has a hideout in the woods he uses for hunting game. Do you know where it is? Not exactly. That is... I don't know where it is at all. But? But I happen to know it's a dark place, a cave, or an old mine shaft. How do you know that? Whenever Riki was going poaching, he always came to me first for candles and lamp oil. He brought the game skin that gutted, so we had to have a light for that. How much game did he bring you? Not much, a few pieces. There's no great demand here. Sometimes the gentry hears something, otherwise it ends up in sausages. And do you know of any mine shafts nearby? There's a few of them around. There's one on the opposite bank, a short way off the path leading from the forge to the west. Then there's a mine gallery to the east of the village, uh, up in the woods above the cliffs. And I heard there's one shaft on the headland close to the water. Thank you. You're welcome. Watch you don't break your neck, though. It's rough ground, and you could easily fall down a shaft. Well, this is progressing quickly. All right. Find the various disused mine shafts, yes. But also, of course, let's go speak to Riki's dad. Finish the lap, as it, as it were. And also potentially look into some of this, uh, hidden food. I mean, money. Food. This is the Tanner's place. This should be the right spot. Hmm. Good day to you. 
Uh, the fuck happened? I'm looking for a fellow called Riki. Have you ever heard of him? Shit. Sure. Why wouldn't I? That's what they call my son, Hinek. Ah. You wouldn't happen to know where he is, would you? I don't know nothing. Don't you at least know where he usually goes? It's important. Hinek shows up at home once in a blue moon, so I don't know nothing about where he gets to. Even if I did, why would I tell every Tom, Dick and Harry? Watch your tongue, peasant. I'm an envoy of Sir Radza Kabila, and this is an official investigation. Stop trying to put me off and tell me where your son is right now. I apologize if I offended you, young man. But still, I don't know where Hinek is. He turned up at the house a while back, but then he vanished again in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? Uh, what? <sighs> Look, it's been clear to me for a long time that my boy was headed for the gallows. But I'm still his father, right? And you can't expect me to rat on my own son. If you value your son's life at all, you better pray I find him. Because I'm not the only one looking for him. That's no surprise. But what of it? If you're here on behalf of Sir Radzik, there's nothing waiting for Hinnick but the gibbet. That's for Sir Radzik to judge. But even if it's true, I'm sure Hinnick would rather hang than fall into the hands of those savages. I can't say you put my mind at ease. But to hell with it. I'll tell you what I know. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods, but he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Thank you. Don't you have any clue at all where his hideout could be? I really don't know nothing about that. I could tell when he'd come from there, is all. How's that? Because every time he brought some hides for tanning and money. He had money because he sold the stuff right away? I suppose. He never kept any of his loot here. Do you know who he sold it to? No. But the innkeeper came here now and again and gave him coin. Of course, it could have been for me. All right. I'll ask at the inn, then. What more do you know? Nothing! I swear to God Almighty, I've said all I know. Hinnick never told me nothing. I know he didn't talk to you about it, but you must have noticed something, right? How much time did he spend away? What was he wearing? How did he look when he came back? Anything? Well, he came and went at all sorts of hours. I really don't know. Uh, except maybe one thing. He'd come home scratched with brambles and with leaves and muck on him. So he probably went through thick woods to get to that place. I reckon. What do I know? I went in the direction of like, and now we are yelling at each other. The time has come to yell. That's uh, my level of charisma is really making some of the stuff quite easy now. Let's see. Um, on the scent. Find Riki's stash. This, so the camp. Yeah, all the letters floating out in the middle of nowhere, all the potential places I could check out. A is kind of useless now. C is the one. Find Riki's stash. I'm trying to work on that one. It's just somewhere in here. They said west side of the area, right? Is that guy. That was freaking out because he sees me in his place. These are like compost piles or something, right? Like, that's the point. Interesting to walk straight up something like that. See, can I review what it said? There we go. 
Um, it's buried in the western corner of the small holding behind... Oops. Behind the tannery. The small holding behind the tannery, western side. Is that... The small holding? That's the western side. Is that the small hold? I don't know what a small holding is. Is it like a warehouse building? Western side. I imagine that's the tannery because that's where they live, right? This could almost be the small holding. Do I need to like highlight a chunk of the floor somewhere? Or is it like somewhere way the hell... Like on the edge of town? Uh, start digging. You don't have a spade! Right. I do not have a spade, you are correct. So I think I found the spot. Where can I get a spade? Is this, is this a chicken coop? It is, isn't it? Hey, who's there? Hi. What's going on there? It's me. How you doing? Huh. The trade option went away. That's odd. I had a trade option before and it's just gone now. Uh, blacksmith? Maybe I can buy a spade from you. Hello, sir. God save you. What can I do for you? I would like to trade. Axe, bludgeon, carpenter's axe, charcoal, a bunch of weapons. Um, no. Spade. There we go. I'm like, you better sell a spade. We've set up specifically that blacksmiths, uh, their job is to make, like, the ends of tools, basically. You only really have to make a bunch of equipment for combat if you're, like, working with the army or something, or, like, you know, the nobles. Usually it's, like, you make horseshoes or spades. I should look into some of these. Hmm. No, let's not. Let's not put that much emphasis on my horse. It's never- it hasn't really been relevant, really ever, to much of anything, how well my horse is performing necessarily, so... Let's not spend like half a grand on horseshoes that apparently degrade over time. Oh, I was in the hole. Alright, a broken piece of equipment and 115 groschen. But not much really, huh? Can I get out of here? There we go. Hey, I found a stash. You wanna talk about it? I'd like to talk to you about your- I'm very busy. What can you tell me about the coin I found hidden behind your house? Coin? What coin? What on earth are you on about? A pretty pile of groschen nicely stashed away for a rainy day. If I'd known tanning was so lucrative, I'd have switched trades. I don't know nothing about it. And I suppose you know nothing about the bloodied gambus and your son hid there too. Of course it would be a shame to throw away such a valuable thing. Behind my house, you say? So you really don't know anything about it? Looks like you pulled the wool over your eyes. Still, I'm not surprised he never told you about it, considering how he came by that money. How did he come by it? He was paid to raid the Neuhof stud farm. He and his cronies slaughtered horses, stable boys, and even the owner, Smil. 
Jesus Christ, I heard about that. You're saying Henik was with them? Almost certainly. He could have at least told me about the money, the little shit. Forget about that. Tell me where he is. All right. He was here a few days ago, but he left right away. He looked like... like he was in a hurry. And you don't know where he went? I've got an idea, but I don't know where it is exactly. I don't follow. Hinek makes some money on the side from poaching. He boasted to me a few times about what a great hideout he found in the woods, but he never told me where it is. Well, it's not much to go on, but it's better than nothing. Thank you. No new information, but I think that if you don't have the charisma to deal with that character, that that's probably how you do it. Hey, who's there? Yeah, I'll jump over the fence, okay? See, now I'm not in your place. You can stop acting like you don't know who I am already. So it's somewhere in the woods. Which is not great, because I think all of those spots are in the woods. We can kind of just try all of them, I guess. Try F first. Just go around clock, uh, clockwise-ish. Or C. How about we go for a ride, horsey? Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Lumber mill. We don't need roads where we're going. Oh. You didn't see that. Nobody saw that. It was a secret. I'm good at secrets. <laughs> Oof. I'm sorry. That was a bad time for you. Thankfully, no one's tried to murder my horse yet. I imagine that they probably technically can. Is that health damage what I just took? Oh, right. My horse has my torch. I accidentally gave it to them earlier. I just got St. George's sword and I already got, I'm already ready to get rid of it. That's fine. That's fine. If I have a mega sword, I've got a mega sword. And if they keep giving me more swords, I can sell them. Alright. It's not this one. Cave mushroom. Whoa, first person grabbing. No separate cutscene. Yeah. Next it is. Hey, deer. Oh, my goodness. A deer just got run over by a larger deer-shaped animal. Oh. You're probably not very crossable, are you? Not the most encouraging sight. I don't really see shallows anywhere. Maybe I'll get lucky. Or maybe it is shallow enough. Hmm, it's too deep here. Nope. Holy crap. Look at the speed we can make while we're in the water. Oh, there's one. It's a very... It's a very hydrodynamic horse. Holy crap. Badass. Nope. Oh, honey. Beehive. Don't particularly care about beehives. But... Might as well add them to the map when I see them. It's been, it's been, it's been plot relevant before. K 
Cave number two. These places are totally boned. Alright. The other ones are way further away. Like, way further away. I could fast travel. Conciliation cross. I could fast travel to technically get kind of closer by going to that one place on the map that's past them, but it would be such a weird round trip. Perhaps a bit unnecessarily. Oh, am I looking at a giant cliff here? Oh, that's a slope. I can work with that. Cool to see the forest look a bit different around here than it has in the in the previous areas. They said to ask at a woodcutter's camp, but this is the wrong one, I believe. I believe that place is, for all intents and purposes, just kinda just kinda there. Just being a part of the world. Samo Pesh Woods. Hey! For once, I might be right about the pronunciation of something. What do we have here? Oh! Oh, it's the herbalist. Is she is she accused of witchcraft or something? This whole place is like burned down. Just on top, though. Is there anything I can do for you? As it happens, there is. Drahomira, a widow from Ledechko, requested my services. But it's a long way on foot, and me with my back in such dreadful pain. I simply can't face the journey. All the way from Ledetsko? What, they don't have a herbalist there? They do, but she didn't want a local. She's a rich widow, inherited a butcher shop. You know how folks like to gossip, especially about anyone who's better off than them. Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? Exorcisms? You know, banishing ghosts, smudging, spells. A haunted butcher shop. One in a day's work for me. It's not a task to be undertaken lightly. This is a real ghost. The spirit of a dead man who hasn't found peace. In order to banish him from the world of the living, you'll need to do a few things. Slit a black cock's neck on the poor soul's grave? What a despicable thought! No! Do you know what smudging is? You'll need ten poppies and some flowers from the deceased grave. Once you have all that, bring it to the house that's being haunted. Light it on fire, and the smoke will purge the place of any unwanted spirits. Sounds like fun. I'll help you. It's no game. It's a very serious matter. Drahomira was terrified, and these aren't forces to be meddled with lightly. Fine, fine. Is there anything else I should know? That's a question for Drahomira. You'll find her in her cottage on the very edge of Ledechko. Ooh, we got ourselves an exorcism quest. Restless spirit. Oh, glad I popped over here. Let's see, we need how many things, though? Like ten poppies. Do you sell poppies? Chamomile, other things, other things, other things, other things. Poppy. Ten. That was easy. 
Neat. Not in the biggest hurry to buy anything necessarily. Let's talk about the price. Well, we can try it. Well, that's a decent price. That's right, you're not gonna get me to pay decimals. Who do you think I am? Calculator? I didn't really have anywhere to go with that one. <laughs> um... No. Oh, that's the people looking for work. I'm like, that's so far away. That's not the edge of Ladechko. Rest of the spirits, the red one. Oh. Just go right back down to let Ladechko is what they mean. Sure. I'll take a break from looking for Reek. To banish a ghost. Banish a spooky ghost. I was not looking forward to another walk around in the woods, collecting crap quest. Then I realized she's an herbalist. She can just sell me the ten poppies. Obviously. For, like, no money. Easy peasy. The herbalist Kunhuta sent me. I'm here because of the ghost. You don't look like you know a thing about ghosts. Why didn't she come herself? Why did she send someone so young instead? Do you know anything at all about exorcisms? My only option is to like do the threat option to convince her, but the, but the other ones like don't work, do they? Ah. Uh, these I mean these aren't this one's not threat necessarily, it's just be look formidable, I think is the point, right? Listen, you want to get rid of a ghost, don't you? If the answer is yes, then stop talking. Fine, fine. I didn't think I was talking that much. What exactly has been going on? It happens at night. Every night, now an apparition comes to me and I can't get a wink of sleep. I can't take it anymore. Whose ghost is it? His name was Alois and he had a farm not far from Ledechko. A few years ago, his farmhouse burned down with him in it. I've heard that people who die such horrible death seldom rest in peace. Why do you think he chose you of all people? How am I supposed to know? Maybe because we're neighbours. We grew up together as children. Hmm. I suppose that makes sense. Where is Alois buried? For the exorcism, I'll need flowers from his grave. He's laid to rest in the Sassau Cemetery by the wall. His grave is a bit overgrown with vines. I've been there a few times for a visit. The first day he appeared, I prayed at his grave, but he came again just the same. I know everything I need to know. Then for God's sake, perform the ritual as soon as possible. God bless. Now the question is, w when I do the ritual, will anything actually change? In particular, are we to believe that this, this is genuinely happening? Or that there's a spooky magic? So I am actually supposed to go back there now. I'm gonna do this now. Because if I want- uh, I'm not on my horse. I take- might take a while to fast travel. I don't know if being on a horse affects your fast travel speed or not. I'm not really sure. But I'm gonna do this now because the poppies have a freshness to them, so I need to take care of them before they expire, hopefully. And hey, I'll give a chance to tell those guys that they have a job now. So it all works together. Eloise's grave is down here. Oh yeah, I've been here. Is someone there? Someone there. Overgrown with vines. You? 
Cemetery flowers. All set up. It's getting dark though. Drive the ghost out of Drahomira's gra cottage. Not grave. What? Alright. Poor choice of spot there. It's fine. I just want to tell my friends the good news. They've been hired. I should really be riding a horse. It's just so slow to not ride a horse. Everywhere. There we go. Ah, yeah. Oh boy, that was not safe. Okay. It's too deep here. Never mind about the horse thing. <laughs> I've chosen very poorly. Wow, I do not know the layout of this, of this town at all, and it's showing. I think someone just said, is someone there? Well, there's the bridge, at least. This is a disaster. This is an unmitigated disaster. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, Pebbles. What have I done to you? Anyway. <laughs> Nothing like a small body of water to ruin everything. My humble greetings. How may I serve you? The Miller and Ledechko would be happy to meet you. You really found work for us? Of course. I couldn't bear to look at those sour faces of yours a moment longer. Thanks, Henry. Only... <sighs> what? The reward we talked about, well, we haven't got two Groschen to rub together. Nah, that doesn't matter. You'll pay me when you have it. That we will. Stop by and visit us in a week. We'll pay you back as soon as we get our first wage. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Now, pay close attention. Pachoing. Stealth stat up. Why not? Take a chance to make anything go up, right? What's my stealth stat at, though? Two. It is non-existent. All right, good to know. My mains went up. I actually got a skill out of it. Do I qualify for all of these? No. Oh, those ones. I don't. I don't have either of these yet. With freshly laundered clothes on, you have plus one higher charisma for uh, for one day. Ooh. Yes. Freshly laundered gives you bonus charisma. is super usable. That means I can buff myself specifically to do better. Was this the one I was waiting for? I think this is the one I was, I was waiting for later to see. But for now, we'll wait. I'm level 9. Y'all get out of here now. I was gonna ask for more, but I, uh, I can't. No, this one. Before a fast travel, torch. Don't wanna get in trouble. Wouldn't wanna get arrested, would we? Because when I get there, it's probably gonna be nighttime. And if my torch is not, we're gonna be in trouble. Impressive how it can burn uh, forever. Absolutely forever. <laughs> 